It seems in my haze of being exceptionally busy and honestly just starting to, uh, you know, get to the time of the year where starting to completely lose interest in NHL 22. Uh, even franchise mode. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at this part of the year. I completely forgot to show the league stats in the last video. So no wonder I'm like, why am I only recording for like 20 fucking minutes? What am I, what's happening? Was it that short? Well, we forgot to show the stats, and my goodness, Nathan McKinnon had himself a season. 122.64 goals, which is the most. Good lord. <laughs> what a season for Nate Mack. God damn. 73 assists for Eklund. So he's up there looking at Waffle Master. Looks like uh, Arizona had themselves, pr excuse me, pretty good season. We'll see who's the most clutch. Uh, probably, honestly, Mason McTavish. <laughs> Eight his 23 goals were game winners. Power play goal leader, Timothy Fawcett. He is a high... Yeah, okay. They're finally starting to figure shit out here, huh? 20 power play goals, 29 points on the power play. McKinnon at 35, though. Good gracious. Shorty is at 5 for Philip Bystet. Uh, point totals, shorthanded. Wow, so Kraken had themselves a pretty good uh, shorty unit. Jaeger also had some points there. And we'll check out the possible Selkie candidates. I mean, you got to say Zegers' name's in there, but there, of course, is Matt Walsh. Near 58% uh, on the face-off. So, could, it could it be Walsh again? Is he the new uh, O'Reilly? Shane Wright maybe mentioned... Ah, uh, maybe... <laughs> Another Blues guy. God damn. <laughs> What is up with the blues and just having these Selkie guys? What the hell? Yeah, I can't think of anyone else who could uh, beat out Walsh for it, man. Crazy Train. I mean, you could probably mention Crazy Train in that conversation, but I don't know. We'll see. Right, we, we definitely see a few in there. Um, so Adam Fox goes to a new team. Probably won't win the Norris, though. He leads in points with 69. Nice. Minus four, he was on the Kraken, uh, but Kamakar should likely win the North. 65 points. Plus 26. Where in the heck is... Oh, you know what? Uh, he's actually becoming a free agent. I'm looking for Nemich, and I don't see him. Oh, never mind. He's right freaking here. God damn. Oh, my God. It happened again. <laughs> He's right here. My, I didn't expect him to be a minus. I really didn't. I didn't expect him to be a minus. Because Buffalo's been good. And Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Anyway, there's an image. Uh, yeah, McCarr's taking home that Norris for sure. And goaltender-wise, uh, it looks like Shesterkin. Yeah, Shesterkin, the top guy. 919-252. I uh, can't really make an argument for anyone else up here. Yeah, it's just jerking. He's the guy. We'll check out rookies as well. See which ones had some fun. Hey, Yerki Koskaranta for us. Look at that. Taking him on the Calder. Is that the second guy we've had winning the Calder recently? I'm pretty sure it is. Unless some uh, goalie beats him out. I don't think so. Not enough games played. No, not even close. Yeah, Koskaranta. Goals get on the for the win, baby. All right. So there we are. And now, now, I'll sim up and stuff towards the draft, and we'll be able to do all of that. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, look at that. Look who won the lottery. It's New Jersey. What a team. What a team. All these winning. All the winning. Whatever. All the winning that they're doing. There you go. New Jersey sucks. Um, Vegas, Tampa. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Too bad we didn't have this pick, huh? Well, they, we, you know, we knew they were going to get bad. We still capitalize. I mean, yeah. We still got some epic, uh, epic selections with some of their picks. And yeah, not a, not a very exciting lottery. Cut some movement here or there. Not too crazy, though. We will check out retirements here, though. Does Tom Wilson bite the dust? He should. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Stamp Gold Smiller, Kuznetsov, Carlson, Zabanajad, Sagan, Kreider. Hamilton, Granlund. Look who's retiring now. Boone Jenner, Tyler Johnson. 
Wow, wrist aligning. We're at that stage. Shay, wow, yeah. Quite a few, but yeah, no, Tom Wilson's sticking around by the looks of it. Okay. Well, those are the main, main names. So how about goaltenders? Uh, not too many. Olmark, Bennington, Ronta. Yeah. Ronta had the best stats out of anyone. Yeah, I mean, like, Olmark, Ronta are pretty cool. Bennington is shit. Just all around. Just as a human being, as a goaltender, as as a player. Just as an entity. As a, a ball of fucking matter. He is a piece of shit. It's crazy. All right. Um, I don't think, oh, we did have someone uh, retiring. Hershey has a retirement, and surprisingly, our NHL team does not. We're going to be looking for yet another new coach, man. And uh, we're winding down. We'll probably only do like one, two more years of this as uh, I'm losing interest. Um, I'm sure eventually viewers will begin to lose interest as well. So I don't know how many more years we're going to do, but we are in the official winding down period. So it's going to be gauged on uh, view count, likes, and stuff like that, and uh, overall engagement, including mine. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pre-draft interviews. Uh, Do we get any other cool stuff? No. Close on Vishnevsky. I'm going to pin him because he could be something cool. I don't know. He's, he's in that range. Goaltender, meh. Yeah, tons of... T it's always goaltenders, isn't it? Uh, just one low elite. Ah, that guy's definitely... Okay, this guy... Okay. Probably a couple low elites here, at least. So... Yeah, we kind of know enough about you. Let's... He's... Yeah, he's gotta be. Alright, I'm gonna interview Donnie Pape in here. And we'll see... Uh, just some of his other, uh... Other things. The ETA is going to give us a big glimpse. Yeah, too. He's 100% low elite. I doubt his, especially if we interview him. I don't think his poten or the uh, perceived potential will change if you interview him. Like, I mean, like, uh, I don't think it'll be inaccurate. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. It's been a while, but I'm trying to think. We ah, did I? I remember one time. I don't know if it was a stream or what, but we. I want to say we interviewed. Or maybe we didn't interview him. We just had a guy who said he was likely uh, high something. And we're like, oh, he's going to be a high top six because he's around the top five. And then we drafted him and he was only a medium top six. And it changed. But I can't remember if we interviewed him. Anyway, because it'll say last scouted right now, like literally. So, you know. Right? We're in June. <laughs> anyway, he's a DFD, low elite. Couple year ETA on him. Likely a good leader. Uh, that's, that's essentially one interview. I don't know. We could... I'll check the pins here. Do I want... Oh, good. Do I want any more information on some people? I mean, yeah, we can get... Okay, we can get pit... Yeah, we can get info on this guy. We can get his ETA for sure. We can get his player type for sure. So why not? Because we don't know, but he, it looks pretty good for him to be a medium elite right there. I won't say it's a guarantee or anything. Yeah, five years is another good sign. At around the 60s, that's really, really good. Playmaker, even. So here, here's a could be a big old chunk of trade value for us. Uh, okay. An outspoken guy, huh? All right. So, playmaker, center, five-year ETA, weak character, and then he also says he's outspoken. Yeah, he's actually yeah, just a shit human being. <laughs> um, so, that's kind of it. We do have one more interview, I guess. Well, I don't really have anything else to do. So, there's a low elite. You know, I could look at the unknown here and see if it's a low elite, and that's about it. Yeah, because this, in the second round, already have a couple guys. Yeah, we don't really need anything else. Yeah, and we're not going to get a whole, we're not going to glean a whole lot of information from elsewhere. So I'm just going to, I'm going to interview Sean Wingles here and see. Just burn the last interview. So let's see, probably three year ETA, oh, it's going to make me scroll, is it? 
All right, two way forward. All we care about is if if you're low or not. So let's see. Likes to win. Okay, two way forward. Who likes to win? A competitive two way guy. Yeah, man. Nope. Alright, so probably top six. Alright. Or maybe a top nine, considering the defenseman here. We'll see. Who knows? Who the heck knows, but we're not taking him. <laughs> That's what we know. So apparently our pick's going to be around here. Okay. There we are for interviews here. Look who won the cup. Vancouver. I think they won again. Is that back to back? It's not. Wait. Why did I think they? Oh, they won it really early, didn't they? Yeah. I was like, wait a sec. They must have won it really early because I was like, why do I have more memory of them? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Anyway, Vancouver won the cup. Carolina with the presidents. And, oh, Philly made it again. But Vancouver beat them. So they, they took out the defending cup champs. Art Ross to McKinnon, as well as the Hart. Well-deserved. Hughes got that. Wait. Hughes got the Norris. It wasn't, it wasn't McCarr. Uh, okay. Off the... What the fuck? Was he close? I don't even know. Anyway, Lady Bing to McKinnon. Coscaranta got that call. See, yeah, it's been Erickson and then Coscaranta. <laughs> we had a couple years before that. Remember Bjorklin won it in that Vesna season? Beautiful. Uh, Con Smythe to Hoaglander. Just jerking with the Vesna. William M. Jennings went to uh, Kachetkov and Barbo. Uh, Lindgren with the Masterton. Jack Adams to the Calgary coach. Walsh got the Selkie once again, two years in a row. Lindsay to McKinnon as well as the uh, Rick Rocket Richard as well, man. Yeah, you got a ton of trophies, but they never ever take home the hardware, do they? And uh, Laval won the Calder. Okay, so that's that. And we hop into the draft here where we're not really drafting for players. It's a, at this point, we're pretty much drafting for value. So there's some stuff in that we could move into the top 10, but we really don't want to or even need to. We have the 23rd pick. And then probably a couple in the second. I'm trying to remember actually what our picks are like here. Uh, actually, yeah, we have too many. That's what we have. Way too many. Uh, so the 37 might be useful. These other ones less so. The 56 could be? Because we do have that guy at 60 something. So, yeah. Just to see what kind of picks we want slash need. Yeah, 60. We'll keep the 56 to go after Vishnevsky. 72. Oh. So, we definitely want 62. something for 62 and 72. These other ones kind of interchangeable. Uh, I can hold on to the other one and likely get another Puma. Oh, I don't want another Puma off. Plus, he's a sniper. Yeah, let's go after the defenseman. So 32, we can move that up. Or hold on. Yeah, you know what? We can just draft him with our first, honestly. And I'm not too worried about min-maxing value at this point. We're going to use a bunch of value to get really good players, essentially. That's what we're going to do. So, yeah. It's about trying to find value here. So, well, what the hell do I trade for, then? i got to burn some of these picks. Because we just have too many of them. Well, I can have three in the first two rounds, so we're going to keep this one to draft uh, the other guy. No, I could hold... Ah, I might as well move it back, huh? He's not coming until 32. Right? Yeah. I mean, but then our scout says he should go higher, so... Don't want to be too reckless with it. And how much, like, it depends on how much I can get. Oh, like, eh, 28 is safe enough. Maybe. Like, even then, like, you know, if our scout says he's ranked that much higher. Central scout, like, four. Four should be safe from self central scouting. I'm assuming. But how much more can I get? Like, they, at least they want to give up their pick. Like, that's a good thing. If I can't get a third, it's probably not worth it. And just a whole freaking draft in place. Like, it's got to be at least a third, I think, right? Eh. This is less than worth it, I would say, but... 
This is stupid, really? Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Move back a little. Watch that cost me him now. <laughs> That would be great. All right, let's just move on from this pick so it doesn't kick me out. 79, high elite power forward. Did I, did I know that? Maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, 79, high elite power forward. Not the greatest overall, but he's there. And he's a power forward. Okay, so we moved that back. We still need to get rid of like three or two picks. <laughs> two or three picks. How many? Yeah, we got to get rid of uh, actually just two. So, 37, I likely would want to move up. Uh, so, I have, what, 10 picks? Yeah, 10 picks, so I have to move two, but I could still take back one. I have to move two from here, but I could still take back one. There we go. Simplify. Hmm. Yeah, the 37. So, I know I want to keep the 56. The 37, I think, is just... Yeah, well... Eh. Might as well take the other Puminops. We already have a Puminops, but... Puminops at home seems to stop growing, so we'll get this Puminops. Yeah. I'll shift that pick up just a couple, I guess. Uh, I'd have to go up to here. <laughs> To get him, that's fine. We'll get the 33. For the 37. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, duh. I have to... <laughs> I was like, why does that have more value? Of course it has more value. Um, so what I could do is throw in, like, the 55 as well. And then... I can take back a pick from here, so... I could, I'll take, see if I could take back the, ooh, that should work, actually. And that would be, I'm going to even toss in something from next season to see if it'll go through. Probably not, but, hey, oh, you never know. So that should go through. Let me just see. Just see if I can get something. Bit off. Yeah, I can. I can get a six. Maybe a six and a seven. Come on. There we go. All right, so we got a six. So there we are. We now have the 33 and the... Oh, the 33. Yeah, that's it. I was like, I, I keep forgetting that I'm drafting the first guy with this pick. I was like, did I just screw that up somehow? No, no, we're good. Now I just need to trade the 49 for it to be legal. And we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll have nine picks. Just got to move that 49 for something. All right, Vegas, kick us out. A uh, little 2A4 Elite 78 overall. All right, um, do I just do a pick swap? We have nine picks already for next season, but hey, a second. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do a pick swap or a player swap, I guess. Let's see. Let's just see if anyone has any good players on the block. <laughs> oh, look. Highly doubtful. I don't even know what. No, I'd like have to be a friggin' prospect for you to even interest me. and I doubt any of this is going to interest me. But I'm just going to take a quick gander. 75, 19 defenseman. Right-handed with X-Factor? Two-way? Kinda? It's at least a value that we can hold on to. Oh, wait. Damn, I thought that would... Quite far... Shit. Or Stajan, who's a top six with slightly less value. I think it's actually going to be quite similar. Quite far off. Okay, I'm just going to pick swap here, essentially. That's going to be too complicated. Looking for something. Will that work? Probably not, actually. Sweeten the valley just a touch. Well, fine. 
How much touch do you want? <laughs> Six from a couple years. I could do that. It's like from a couple years from now. Whatever. There you go. All right. Done. And hey, you never know. Dallas has just been absolute dog shit. So it should be a pretty good second, right? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what else goes in this top five. 75 playmaker. Yeah, the top fives have not been too good here. See how the game bounces itself out? Wow, did they? Did, did Dallas just screw up? Oh, whoa, really? No, there's got to be one more. There has to be one more elite. Really? Oh, my God, was there not one more elite? I guess not. Holy hell, what a shit draft. I mean, they got a high elite, 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 and then immediately to top sixes. That's a horrible draft, man. Wow. I'm actually kind of shocked here. There's really not another one. I'm just blown away. Okay. Let's sim up. I'll scroll back a bit because I'm kind of shocked. Jesus, what a horrible draft. Yeah. The game always balances itself out. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Well, let's take a look a uh, take a look around the league here. At our members. All right, just had to get my my list here. So we got it. Most of you guys are pretty much done growing here. So it's just about your st uh, excuse me your stats. Twenty seven points plus eleven. Hey, you had a plus season. Look at that. Did you make the playoffs? You did not. But hey, you're a plus player, 69 penalty minutes, nice. Vlad the Lad Lennon. And this is essentially your final build as a shutdown guy. So there you are. Alright. Uh, Jingleheimer. What the? Oh, right above you. 43 or an 87 overall now at age 24. Maybe a little bit of growth left, but you were not a plus, however. Get good. Yeah, and you have the sick puck skills. All right, on we go to Arizona, where Waffle Master 92 only got up to 92, and even though he switched to high franchise, 82 points plus 19, made the playoffs and got no, that was last season. Didn't make the playoffs this season. <laughs> uh, you finally had a point per game year. That's kind of crazy. You never had a point per game year before now, and of course, you know, build wise, 99s all over the place. But yeah, you're pretty much done growing. Not a great shot. Uh, da -da, crazy train, 90 at 26, 80 points. You have had a over point per game season. But you're uh, pretty, yeah, multiple 40, uh, 40 goals now. 42 in this last season. But still kind of just trying to get over that hump. Yeah, the shot's unreal. Like, I, eh. Yeah, you shoot it. Yeah, it's weird. You shoot a decent chunk, but for some reason they don't have. Just imagine you had a 15 or 20 percent shooting percentage, which honestly you probably should have with those stats, but yeah, you don't. So I guess not clutch. <laughs> and spent sample is also well was also here. Uh oh, there. Oh, he's unsigned. Okay, that's why he's unsigned right now. Uh, 19 points plus 19, actually pretty damn good. As a shutdown type guy, you're done growing, but this is your build. And yeah, really, really good on the shutdown. Kind of surprising that they don't have you signed. They kind of, they probably need you. Well, we'll see what happens with that. All right, and next. Nemich on the Sabres. 68 points, yeah, minus, so you guys must, uh, no, you made the, wow, you just had a shit season, I guess, you made the playoffs, you had 14 points, 13 games played, still a minus, <laughs> yeah, it's not a good season for old Nemich there, but the bill, yeah, we could see more Norses in his, in his future, so as long as he doesn't shit the bed defensively, yeah, because that's an insane build, very insane build, and the Blackhawks, of course, Casablanca, 90 at 24, still a bit of room to grow, and you're stringing together some, you know, some plus seasons. You still have yet to make the playoffs in Chicago. But, yeah, I mean, what else can you do besides have better offensive awareness? But, 
I mean, you're a shutdown guy. What do they want from you? Mr. Grinder Extraordinaire, 69 points. Dude, he's putting up sick totals. <laughs> Look at that. Grinders can work. Elite grinders can work. Let it be known. The Yaz is pretty, uh, you can't make the playoffs, but hey, you can have good seasons and good pluses and stuff like that. Like 107 penalty minutes, too. And the build is sick. Like, the build is great. <laughs> You're doing it. You're kicking ass. Kicking some ass. All right. And who the hell else is here? I know I got to got it. Yes, Sailor and Doucet are also here. Smooth Sailor, 85-26. You're done, but getting solid point totals is just such a shit team that you're on. Yeah, that's the only downside. Just, just so many shit teams. Like, it seems like EA cannot figure out how to make teams better. It's kind of wild. But there you are, I guess. <laughs> the stats are kind of there. It's just, ugh, the team. How about Doucet? Ooh, 51 points. He's just, you know, he's, he's up. Again, just need a better supporting cast around some of these guys. You're getting so hard to, for everyone to carry. You can even see it when you have Fran. Like, Arizona, by all means, should be a playoff team at every, every season at this point, and they're not. But look at Doucet, I mean... Again, he's got the not like, yeah, sure, his puck skills aren't quite there, but I can't believe he's only got 21 goals. Look at that. He's got a sh his shooting percentage is awful, considering he has a pretty damn good shot. That's wild. Yeah, really wild. And, of course, the stars here as well. Like, how are, again, how have they yet to make the playoffs here? You got Maloney here. Oh, my God. He only have f how? 53 points. How the hell does he only have 53 points? Yeah, you have not touched the playoffs and you're age 25 now. Again, how the heck do you have that low of point totals? How do you only have 21 goals? <laughs> hey, you don't shoot a whole ton, but still. <laughs> and other people here, including Connor. Well, it's just Connor Emery. 66 points. Like, he kicked some ass, man. Playmaker, yeah, yeah, just again. But you look at some of his stats, and it's like, man, if they had the right help. Seriously, though, second line, second power play, 66 points. That's a solid season. And he's on a good contract. I don't know how they're not making it. I don't I don't know. The Wings, you got Dylan Benoit, who, yeah, is a third liner. But look at that, he got 49 points. He almost had as much points as a 90 overall. <laughs> 49 points plus 10. Detroit haven't made the playoffs yet either, which is kind of nuts, considering what they, like, most cited, like, who they start with and, like, where their trajectory is. Yeah, third line, but yet second power play, but almost 50 points, man. So, again, opportunity-wise, you just had a, yourself a career year. Who knows what's going to happen after that? You're not extended, so we'll have to keep an eye on that situation. Man, yeah, kind of nuts. All right. And for Edmonton, we got Deer King, 85-25. Did have a 52-point season, minus 8, and didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. Again, you're not the strong skater, but at the shot, the awareness, the defense isn't quite there. But who needs it, right? Besides your minus. <laughs> maybe, maybe the Oilers needed it. We got Michael Ludy next. Uh... Oh, God. He was right at the top. Why did I think he was going to be lower? Uh, 34 points. Wait, did they make the play? Oh, my God. He's a grinder. Yeah, okay, so not all grinders are created equally, I guess. <laughs> Solid build and stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That wasn't even close to this season. Yeah. <laughs> at least you're an even? <laughs> Question mark? So not quite like the Yaj. But... You're not being paid like the Edge either. I mean, again, the potential theoretically is there. The overall's there. But it hasn't quite broken out, I guess. And uh, the perennial lottery winner. Like, what the fuck? Look at this fucking team, man. How are they not good yet? Um, you know, I'm just trying to... Yeah, we got Isaac Wallace here. 89, 26. 79 points on the back end. You didn't make the playoffs last last season, but yeah, you win the lottery this season. <laughs> Ugh, solid two-way guy, playing top two minutes for him, minus sixteen, unreal, man. Oh, they're trying to trade Bedard now, huh? Yeah, you signed him to a 
That contract, you fucking morons. Oh, man. Billy Hacker also here. 84, 24, 26 points. Mr. Enforcer. Yeah, kind of more performs and plays like a grinder, I guess. And, of course, Mackey. Mr. Mackey, the goaltender. Uh-oh. They got him on the trade block. Why do they have him on the fucking trade block? You have no goaltenders. What do you... Oh, my God. Oh, boy. And he had a shit year. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I, in my opinion, he's built well. Good reflexes. I don't fucking know how to build goaltenders. Oh my gosh. The Rangers. Jonas Rantala. 85, 24, 61 points. Plus four. You made the play. <laughs> you made the playoffs and didn't do jack squat. <laughs> you choked. The whole team choked. Although all our guys choked too. I can't say much. 36 uh, numbers right there. You're pretty much like a 30-goal guy. You're playing top line, though, so you maybe want a little bit more than 61 points, but, well, it's not your fault. You're an 85, and they got you a top line. That's their fault for building a shit team. Look at that. No elite talent to be found. The Senators here, and, like, how the hell are they not kicking ass yet? I mean, they, sh they finally have figured it out, question mark, have they? 90 points for Johnny Lee. No! They didn't make the... What? Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, Mr. 99's himself. He's still making fucking 19.6 million. Because I'm sure they keep tendering him and he just keeps like, Yep, I'll take that, I'll take the money, I'll take the money. <laughs> so partially my fault, but... That's what you get. Um, Speedy Singh is here who did change that potential. But like, like, look at that team. He's got 63 points, too. Didn't quite have the goal totals that he uh, had in the previous season, but so sick, man. The offense awareness being that high should mean he uses the shot well. Just in general, he should produce. Might go back and forth. Might have hybrid production. He's on a sick contract, too. Yeah, really good contract, considering the points he's putting up. Wow, it said first line. Uh, really? I guess so. Could have been, yeah. All right. And Philly. Jelly Diet, who's just been hilariously a fourth liner. Uh, <laughs> unsigned might be hitting the market now. <laughs> 45 points. Made the playoffs. 14 and 23. Like, it's so weird the way they've been using you. But, uh, they're still, yeah, they're still using it on the fucking fourth line. But you are getting first power play time. <laughs> It's bizarre. I've never seen this. I've really never seen this. But you've been you've been making the most out of it. And you're in a position where if you hit that free agency, you could get put in a top six role and and potentially really kind of explode there. Alright, let's see Big D Baker. And his insane penalty minutes, 85. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I haven't made the playoffs since way back then. And there you are, Mr. Shut down fighter. Hilarious, your fighting skills only at 79. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you're getting punched in the face a lot. Sweet sauce. Oh, look at that point total. 87 points. Talk about a career year. 30 points more than your previous high. Plus 19. Made the playoffs. Only 3 points in 6 games played. Classic Sharks. And yeah, pretty good build too. And I would say you're done at that point. Yeah, especially as a high six. You probably got some stat growth in there. Not too bad. And on to... Oh wait, someone is on the Kraken. Or was. Um, There you are. Unsigned. 83-26... 22 points. You did make the playoffs. Three points in seven games played, minus three. Yeah, it's interesting. I just don't... Yeah, they're playing, it says they're playing a second pairing. I don't know how much better you'd get even with good ice time, because, I mean, you know, 
We haven't done a whole heck of a lot, but it's decent, I guess. Uh, Jaren... Ooh. Uh-oh. Is Walsh unsigned? It looks like it with the way that value is working. Yes, he is. Jaron Myers is here. 44 points, man. That was pretty solid. Failed to make the playoffs this season, though. 44 points in 76 games played, however, is good. And, yeah, you've been one of those. <laughs> I keep saying they're playing your top pairing, too. And that makes more sense with your point totals in that one. Matt Walsh, another great year. 49 goals, 85 points. 15 and 18. In the, oh, that wasn't even. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, so sick. Pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Curious. Unsigned, huh? Wonder how much money he's going to be asking for. <laughs> Probably quite a bit. Toronto. Uh, wow, it looks like Scary Carry is also unsigned. Or traded? <laughs> what? Hold on. Maybe I just missed. No, 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 I just missed him. 85 at 26, unsigned 55 points. Oh, yeah, a bit of a step back. Five points in eight games played in the playoffs, however. So a sweep and a sweep. <laughs> Not often you see that. And, uh, yeah. That's that's definitely your final build at this point. So, yeah, interesting. I'll have to try to keep an eye and see how, where some of these people go. Uh, and Winnipeg, the last person here. Maybe unsigned as well. No. 80 at 25. 26 points. Yeah, you're just kind of a 26-point guy. 6 and 18 is not bad. Still says first pairing, which is weird if that's really the case. So, I guess you're signed because... No, you're not. What the hell? Oh, you must be RFA. Yeah, I guess maybe RFA. Alright. Well, that'll wrap things up there. How all the members are doing. And now we make our picks. So, first one here. We're just going to go straight for Donnie Papin. And grab our low elite. Boom. 68 low elite. X factors. DFD. Not bad. Not too bad here. And then up, of course, to the 33, where our next one. Another Pumanovs. Another Pumanovs. Another sniper Pumanovs. Three or ETA. Maybe X Factor. I'll, I'll have to see. 63 overall. Yeesh. Yeah, he does have X Factors, but 63 is not great. Not too great. Well, let's see if anything else really, really interesting went. Nah. Medium sixes and nines, and yeah. Alrighty, we'll go for Vishnevsky and come on, medium elite. Come on, medium elite. Let's go. Let's go. He is medium elite 52 overall. No X factors, but that's trade value, baby. That is trade value right there. We got him. Not quite a blind pick. We had a good feeling, but it wasn't confirmed. It was not confirmed. 65 next. Hold on. Did I make sure? Yeah, we're good. 65. I can grab that guy. And then for the rest of the time, like a lot of blind picks. So we set ourselves up real well in this draft. So we're going to grab uh, Stefan, uh, Stefan Wolf. Stefan, I don't know. Let's grab him. Wolf. 49 high elite goaltender. No X factors. But more trade value. Up to Crosby number. And we'll see what we can find here. Interesting. Ah, nope. Maybe. Eh. Not a guarantee. X Factor? Five year? Well. Hmm. Hmm. I doubt we have another pick before 100. No. Hmm. There's a couple guys there who, like, maybe. Aronson, not, because he's going to be four-year at the most. Antropov is the maybe, is one of them, because he's five-year guaranteed. But the problem is, is these guys are also, five, well, not guaranteed. Ooh. Antropov looks good. 
But it's that X factor that's kind of drawing me in. The potential, but it's three ticks up, so it's like he likely has it. Five-year ETA. Further back, though, so five-year ETA may make a bit more sense. God damn it. Uh, Four-year ETA. Holy shit. Oof. It's looking good. Five-year confirmed on a 20-year-old, though. Ooh. And he's a forward. Damn it, I wish there wasn't two. <laughs> I wish there wasn't two of them. Huh. This is a really tough call. Ah, uh, we're gonna go for Jaden Hensick. Fuck! He wasn't even a medium. Alright, it was a defenseman. I forget the name, though. Was it Hennessy? No, it was Antropov. Two more. Man, if I fuck that up. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Hey, you know what? I'll take I'll take solace in the fact that I I, my, I was on the right track, but I, I just mm, mm. see what I should have done is went with ah uh, uh, fucking all right all right it's fine move on move on can't win them all hold on Jim maybe I can console ah oh, okay you know what top six it's an okay constellation i'd been happier with a medium elite constellation but you know what that's fine it's fine uh 151 hold on our next guy's at 170 something right let's just see what our picks uh 180 okay so if he's at 170 something i gotta take him here which i believe he is no he's at 190 something i can get him with the next pick all righty we're likely not finding a medium elite at this stage. Let's be real. So let's look for some other interesting things. Well, we can go for a goalie who's a gem at 19. Four-year ETA, interesting. And hope like he's a... Yeah, do you know what? Trade value. I think that'll be good. Yeah, he's an elite. 61 overall at 19. So yeah, there's some trade value. Hell yeah. Wow, 80, 73 backup. At 18, he's for sure going to become a backup. That's cool. Uh, 183, I'll get mm, my guy now. My last pin. Tarasov, two-way forward. Low elite. 54 at age 19. And one final pick here. Ooh, a low elite sniper just went. From where? Jamie, oh, I hate how you can't actually check here. But Jamison Murray sounds American. So we're going to land in... Uh, hold on, let me check age. Age, 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 age. 19, yep. We're 100% going for that guy. Uh, Landon Collins. Boom. There it is. Easy. Another blind pick, low elite right there. 19, 55, whatever. It's a little bit, little bit of chunk of... Little, <laughs> what? A little chunk of value. We're close enough. Let's see if anything else fun goes. Nope. Nope. Bunch of low bottom sixes. What trash... You guys suck. Get good. Especially you devils. Boo. 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 No. They all suck. Alright, but a pretty good draft overall. A little salty. A little salty that I guessed wrong, but I am, again, happy that I was, I was, my line of thinking was correct. I just chose the wrong guy. But it was the, it was the X Factor that could have been. I shouldn't have, I should have just went with my gut and went with the guy who was closer and surrounded by top fours, except for the guy who couldn't. Yeah, I fucked that up. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. I had to count right there. I'm like, shit, was that nine? Almost looked like more. But we're good. It was a pretty good draft overall. Honestly, we got a shit ton of value, which is what we're after at this stage. A couple guys. Uh, You know what? <laughs> this is the one guy. Uh, hold on. Oh shit! It'll if I will it make him my huh? See, he's interim. Will it will it send him back to interim? 
I'll fire this guy anyway, so I could always demote him. You know what? Let's just do it. Yeah. Let's just keep both of these guys. Because I want to anyway, as generalists. And we lost our assistant coach. Hey, Ovi did get slightly better. We'll keep around all the scouts. There we are. Alright, let's see what we got to do here in resign phase. Quite a lot. Hartman does not want to come back. Ah, oh, man, he's still so fucking good, though. Oh, boy. Uh, well, we're still fine on cap, honestly, so. Bam, three and a half to come back, play likely fourth line. I don't know. I really like him, though. Go debt. We could probably let go of Janssen Fjallby if he wants to come back. Ooh, really? Well, again, I'll actually need to spend a bit of extra money this season, so I'll keep him back, whatever. Tom, okay, Tom Wilson doesn't want to come back, man. Cause, probably because I had him in a freaking depth roll. Oh, he's still good, though. Come on, Tom. Let's bring Tom Wilson. Let's just overpay a bunch of these guys. Why not? <laughs> uh, geeky, fuck you. It's a one-way, which is hilarious. Uh, Coppa Bianco hasn't, actually doesn't want to come back anymore. Keep pile on. Last two year for you. 43 guys under contract. Okay, hold on. There's a couple of guys coming in. Yeah, oh yeah, that's four different guys coming in here. So, Hedman's gone. Uh, Zeeler is gone. Robertson. Oh, that's five guys coming in. And he's actually done well. What is he? Two wave? Yeah, sure. Uh, Hunwick. Mountston's gone. And I get rid of like one more of these guys. I guess Rabinsky. Okay. Get all these guys coming in on entry levels. Oh, wow. We're at the stage where entry levels are actually above a million. I didn't think that was possible. I thought it was just capped at a freaking million. Eh, 67 to 20. Oh, he's a grinder. Have fun. Okay. Alright, and alright. There we go. Okay. That should be it. Goalies, uh, Triff needs to get signed, I guess. High starter, which may have make too many, or I can get rid of Konovalov. Hold on, what are we looking at goaltenders wise? Yeah, I'd have to. Yeah, England's ready anyway. So there we go. All righty. Helms. Eh, I, already, I feel like I almost have too many guys signed. We'll see. We shall see. Let's advance a day here. Yeah, shut up. Get in there. Get in there. Back to assistant. He goes. Everyone so far is accepted. And besides Hataka. Forty-one guys. Oh, there's still a couple actually. Hunwick. Ah, uh, both defensemen. I think I'll be fine doing that. So we don't have too much depth, we know. 40 guys under contract? Yeah, sure. Should be fine. How many forwards under contract do I have? One, two. Oh, that's not a fucking hell. <laughs> oh, 24 exactly? Shit, well, that's not quite enough, but that's fine. That's 12 and 12, but that's it's whatever. Defenseman. Yeah, 
Yeah, we have a good amount of them. We have uh, f 15. And goaltenders we're fine on. So, all right, we can get essentially two forwards. If we want. Who do you have money to spend? <laughs> uh, hold on. Just maybe make sure I'm done with everything. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, we're good. All right, up the free agency we go. Probably have some mm, relatively major extensions to look at. And yes, indeed. Shikrin has one of them. That's a big one. Erickson is a pretty big one, too. Eh. All right, maybe just bridge him. I don't know. Batherson. Rosso. Ugh, I hate when they do stuff like this because I really don't know if they're getting better. I could do three year and then keep him RFA and see if he indeed does grow. It's probably the safest bet with him. Yeah, that's sub five. So four, eight, two, five for three years. Lapierre does not want to come back. That's a bit unfortunate. Muir's does. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's do a RFA type thing with him. Because I don't think he gets that much better. I really don't. And I'd rather have the ability to move him. Uh, X will be... This is an interesting one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold off on that. Jazz. Eh. He's pretty solid. It just doesn't really have space right now for him. But that was a cheap ass deal he was after. Yeah, let's do it to you. It's not going to be an RFA when he comes off, but whatever. I mean, that's sub one mil for two years. So it doesn't matter where we play him, that's great. Ice Warrior! Yeah, we'll give you a couple year extension. For a sub five, that's okay. You're gonna have to start fucking earning it though, man. We're gonna go very, very short term for goalies. <laughs> Alright. Alright, four, four, five. For two years, sure. Get good. Alright, and that's likely. Chickern kinda wants some money. Might be worth it. Erickson in the same vein, again, might be worth it. But he hasn't... I don't think he's had... I don't think he's an earned as much as Casablanca type guy. Eh, to be fair. They're around the same. Again, I could do a shorter term thing. Could also keep him RFA. And then see if we can get maybe a different deal. But honestly, it's not that much of a difference from five years. It's like eight years is kind of a lot. It's 10 mil, essentially. Which maybe at this stage isn't horrible. Our max, it's essentially 10% of your cap. Not horrible. If you did six years, that's under nine. I'm Yeah, I'm going to do six years. <laughs> I'm going to do six years and 875. Uh, 8775. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And Chicker and Batherson are much, much bigger question marks. In fact, I think Batherson, that's a super cheap deal, but. And eh, not super, super cheap. He doesn't have X Factors either. Yeah, and X will be, I'm definitely holding off on. So. Those will be our extensions, at least for now. We'll try to keep an eye on some other ones. We'll check out free agency here. Fox is back for a shit ton of money. Barzal's back for a shit ton of money. <laughs> what the hell? Timo, oh my god. Look at the amount of money these guys want. Hey, Baneers, interesting. Baneers is available and won't short term. Lundell wants short term. Curious. 
Kind of curious. Well, let's take a look. You guys have seen some of the top names here. We'll take a look at potential needs. And uh, look at, honestly, making some changes. That's technically your top five, or top six right there. Not great. Hopefully, Cascarante jumps up. And you can play, you know, you can play Natchez on the wing, but I think we could stand to gain a... Oh, what the fuck happened to High Note? Not too sure. But you could probably stand to gain a bit more top-tier talent. It's on the forward end for sure. Defensively... You hoping Rosso jumps? Guyas and Goddard are kind of res resigned to them not really moving much more. But you still have Axelby who could jump as well. Jazz could fill in. We're kind of fine on defensemen. Unless you make some fucking trades and shit. But I don't want to bring in Fox. Like we have Rosso coming up. There's our OFD. And yeah, goaltenders were not to say fine. So really it's forwards for us. And I think we could use a bit more top tier talent, man. I'm not going to lie. I really think we could. Like, that is your top six on paper. Maybe Koskaranta pushes out someone. But, yeah, that's we either through free agency or trading. We do have a lot of value, so it doesn't have to be free agency. Beneers was interesting, but... He didn't want a whole lot either, which is really, really enticing. Eh, 9.2 is kind of a lot. But a short-ish term. Oh, good, he doesn't have X-Factors. Fuck him. <laughs> Why didn't none of those new guys have X-Factors? What the hell, EA? Yeah, so probably look to trade. <laughs> probably look at trades there. and Because we, again, value-wise, we have a ton. Not a ton-ton, but we have a solid amount of value that we could get rid of. We got this. Oops. We got Kavasha, honestly, that we could throw away. Kavasha. Uh, Vishnevsky. There's two guys right there. Even, honestly, even this Von Fersen guy. Like, we can even throw, we can even chuck him in there. That's value we can give away. Goaltender-wise. Wolf. All these. Like, we have tons and tons of value. We gotta get some. We gotta get some help for that top six. That's for sure. I mean, look what happened in the, in the previous two years in the playoffs. We failed the score. That's our biggest need to address. 100% our biggest need to address. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So, likely through trading, but... That'll obviously be in the off season here. This video is done, so let me know what you think. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.